It's amazing with the technology we have available and the technology in place and the scientists, the sports scientists that have been working on this for over a decade, that we do not have this technology absolutely in place in the NFL right now. And specifically what I'm talking about is head injuries, concussions in the NFL. They have developed technology that right now could be in an NFL helmet. And it absolutely will show you the damage done to the brain, the severity of the hit, and whether a football player should be left in the game or taken out of the game. And the NFL has had this at their fingertips for the last seven years. And for some reason, they have not green-lighted it. They have not said, let's roll with it. And it is absolutely incredible. It's almost like the tobacco companies just keep saying, Cigarettes don't cause cancer. Cigarettes don't cause cancer. Cigarettes don't cause cancer until they were sued for over 40 billion bucks. And then they finally gave in and then they had to put warnings and similar to years and years and years ago when they had to take commercials for cigarettes off TV and then eventually they had to stop Joe Camel and take banners for cigarettes off TV and off highways and off anywhere. Now listen, the bottom line is this, we love football. We're going to watch football no matter what. But you don't want football players in their late years to be vegetables, to not be able to raise families, to be an embarrassment. I mean, come on now. This is 2012 NFL. Put the technology in the helmet. If someone gets hit, yank him out of the game. I don't give a fuck what it's going to cause. Save your players. Save some face. Have some integrity. We are not total barbarians. Let's be fucking real. You can still bet on the game, so players will go in and out. Who gives a fuck? Now let's talk about Jerry Sandusky. Because first of all, it is absolutely insane now what we're finding out and what everybody at Penn State knew. I would love to be the lawyers involved with how much money they're gonna take from Penn State that I think has a $1.8 billion giddy. Joe, Joe Paterno, rest in peace. His legacy is ruined forever, as we know. No one will ever look at Joe Paterno again, think of the name again, or Penn State again, without the blemish and the cowardly acts that Joe Paterno did to try to just sweep it under the rug and keep his pristine, Stella Penn State church in order. Then, all the way down the road, the president, everybody involved just turned their heads. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking insane. You're not talking about embezzling money. You're talking about children getting fucked up the ass. There's nothing that can happen to Jerry Sandusky that he wouldn't deserve. Nothing, including being in the shower and just getting brutally beat up and raped and fucked and sucked as the guards just sat there and listened but did nothing just like Joe Paterno and Penn State did to these little fucking 